Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Har! Hoist the sails! But Captain, we don't have any sails. Well, har, hoist your claws, har. Aye, aye, Captain. Those are the voices of a crew of coconut crabs. These young crabs are sailing across the ocean on some driftwood they found. It's, <laughs> it's not a real pirate ship. But Captain Claw, he truly believes that he is actually like a, the real captain of a real pirate ship. He's got a pretty good imagination. Full steam ahead for the treasure island. Do you know what a coconut crab is? A coconut crab is a ginormously large crab. It's the second largest crab in the wide world that lives in like Southeast Asia and Australia and that area of the world. And they grow so super duper big. Well, every ginormous critter starts out as just a young critter. And that's exactly what who Captain Claw and his crew of other coconut crabs, that's who they are. They're young coconut crabs. They're pretty small. And after baby coconut crabs hatch out of their eggs, they usually climb atop of driftwood that brings them around the ocean to new places. But... Every young coconut crab needs to find a shell, kind of like a hermit crab shell, to crawl inside for protection. And Captain Claw, he had heard of a treasure island that had the most magical looking of shells in the whole wide world. And that's where him and his crew were off to. One very interesting thing about Captain Claw is that he only has one claw. And nobody knows how he lost the first one. You see, his one claw is always clutching shiny things. He likes to find shiny things. And nobody knows how he lost his other claw. He comes up with a different story every time someone asks. Ah, yes, a shark ate it. Ah, yes, an alien bit it off with its laser teeth. Ah. Oh, yes, one day it got melted off in a lava explosion on Volcano Island. Captain Claw was pretty good at telling stories. <laughs> I don't know where that claw actually did go. Well, you see, if we begin this story a little while ago, see, baby coconuts, they have a long journey from when they're born. The female coconut crabs, they release their eggs right into the ocean. Yikes, that doesn't sound very safe. And then once the eggs hatch and the larvae are, they're dependent on, you know, doing what they're doing. They find some driftwood or coconut husks to cling on to until they're big enough. Uh, they That usually takes about six weeks. Do you know how many weeks are in a month? Yes, four weeks in a month. So about a month and a half. Then they sink all the way to the ocean floor to find a shell that will protect them from predators. Much like a hermit crab. Have you ever seen a hermit crab before? 
yeah, they bring their house with them wherever they go. But the one big difference between hermit crabs and coconut crabs is that coconut crabs get ginormously huge. Way huger than uh, a shell to house their big bodies. So they drop those shells and then they usually live on an island in the middle of the ocean. And that is where our story continues as our crew of young pirates are looking to sail all the way to Treasure Island to find a very, very special shell that they've heard about. Arr, mateys, how's our travels going? I, I can't see any land. All I see is the big old blue. Who has the map around here? Arr. Uh, Captain, I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, but uh, we don't have a map. Uh, we were just told to head this direction. Shiver me, Timbers. You mean we've been traveling this far without a map? What kind of treasure exploration must go without a map? Shouted Captain Claw. Well, Captain, I think we're headed in the right direction. I think we're... Uh Uh-oh. Did you hear that? But all of a sudden, something terrible happened. Captain, we're under attack. Captain, what do we do? Are not the rats of the sea? Oh, my. It's about time we abandon ship, my crew. Grab your toes and get a jump in. Arr, splash. One by one, all of the little coconut crabs jumped right into the water. Whew, that was a close one because seagulls, they would totally eat a young baby coconut crab that doesn't even have a shell. Without a shell, coconut crabs are pretty good snacks for birds that are flying around pretty hungry around the ocean. But holy smokes, what in the world is going to happen? Captain Claw and his entire crew have now just jumped into the middle of the ocean without any kind of protection. Oh dear, Uh, I don't think this uh, sounds like it's going to end very well, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode to see if they're going to make it all the way to Treasure Island. The end. Hey friends, I have something really exciting that I need your help with. What do you think of a Mr. Jim book? Like a real life Mr. Jim book. Yeah, turning our stories into books has been a dream of mine for a long time. And I think it's about time that we make it happen. But I really need your help. You see, we need as many people as possible to say like, Yes, I will support Mr. Jim having a book. And so, your parents, I need you to tell your parents right now to go to MrJimBooks.com and just to sign up saying that you support the idea of Mr. Jim having a book. That would be so amazing because if we get enough people to do this, then this book will actually become a real thing. But it only happens with your help. So, my Critter Protectors... Go tell your parents that you have to go to MrJimBooks.com or click the link down in the show notes below so that you can make this book actually happen. That would be so awesome, and I cannot wait to share this book with you. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super-duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.